Let's look at how to create a pie chart in Excel. If I lay out the different data that I need, I'm just going to select over that data. If they're on separate columns, I could select the individual columns. And as soon as I've got suitable data to put into a pie chart, I could just click on the Insert tab, go over to the Pie Chart option, click on Pie Chart to insert the pie chart. And we can see that the pie chart is inserted there. I've got the three different parts to it. I've just enlarged it. I've got the actual chart title, the actual chart itself, and a legend at the bottom. Let me just amend the chart title here. And then I can start thinking about how to make it more visually appealing and get the data or the message of this pie chart across to the audience. Having the actual legend down here with such a segmented pie chart with lots of different segments, it can be a bit confusing. You're expecting the audience to kind of look at the bottom legend and trace across the different colors to the segments of the pie chart uh, above, and that can be quite difficult. In my case, I would prefer to get rid of that legend and get data labels to actually be inserted on the segments themselves. So I'm gonna select that legend, hit the backspace key on my keyboard, and then come into the middle of the chart, just click on the chart once, and I'll get a set of options over the side where I get format data series. In my case, I want to affect the data labels. I'm gonna right click over that selected chart, and I've got add data labels here as an option in my shortcut menu. Now that data labels are added, I want to format the data labels. I'm going to right click again over the chart and I've got a format data labels option on my shortcut menu. That will bring up several different options here between fills and different effects but I want to go over to this last option on this side pane, which contains all of the different series name, category name, and so on. What I want to do is I just want to add in the actual absolute values that have been given to each of the different parties for this, uh, for this parliament. And I want to show the actual category name as well. So that shows me the individual items on the series to the left, and it will show me the party names of the different segments. And we can continue to format. For instance, all of the different labels are selected at the moment. I can easily go back to the Home tab and grow the text in the labels. And certain segments are bigger than others, so I can afford to have the data labels in over those segments for some parties. Others, I'd need to actually pull them out outside the data labels because the text is too big uh, to be placed on very small labels. I can also choose to edit the labels as well. So for example, the Green Party. That party is often known as the Greens. And so in this case, I could just write in the Greens there instead of having the whole Green Party because it suits that particular segment. That segment is quite narrow. And I can also put the number of parliamentarians or TDs onto the next line. And I can click and drag across and just place that that label in the middle of that segment. And that's a brief overview of how to construct a pie chart with labels on data segments.